Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of cholelithiasis. A middle-aged female patient came with right upper abdominal pain and vomiting. She had given a history of cholecystectomy 10 years back. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the liver showing the dilated intrahepatic biliary tree. This is the pancreas. Main pancreatic duct is not dilated, so we are having a safe position about the pancreatic head mass. Now, this is the dilated common bile duct. This is the intestine moving, so it's very difficult to locate the distal part. But here you can see a hyperechogenic structure at the distal common bile duct, casting a faint posterior acoustic shadow here. Here is the dilated intrahepatic biliary tree. This is again the common bile duct. We are trying to praise and displace this gut which is showing motility. And here you can see on magnified image this hyperechogenic structure casting faint acoustic shadow indicating stone within the common bile duct. We are not satisfied with the stone alone. We were trying to exclude the presence of any growth distal to this stone which we could not evaluate further due to poor bowel preparation. Here is the dilated interhepatic biliary tree. And this is the stone you can see here quite well. Again the magnified image and here is the stone within the distal common bile duct indicating cholelithiasis. Here is the picture you can see the dilated intrahepatic biliary tree and this is the dilated common bile duct. You can see the distal part due to duodenal gas shadow. The common bile duct was around 18 mm in diameter which is quite dilated. And here is the magnified image, you can't see anything distal to this part. But when we checked later, we have got the stone within the lumen. The stone was around 12 mm in diameter. Here you can see it's casting faint acoustic shadow. As again the stone and casting here a faint acoustic shadow. So in summary, there was dilated intrahepatic and extrahepatic biliary tree. The gallbladder was not visualized due to post cholecystectomy state. A bright echogenic structure casting faint acoustic shadow is noted within the distal common bile duct lumen. So this feature is suggested as a case of cholelithiasis. Now the take home message. Other radiological correlation is always safe to exclude the growth of distal CVD in a case where you get cholelithiasis. You may stop your diagnosis at cholelithiasis, but there might be anything distal to that. So it's better to evaluate further. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.